actually. <laughs> <laughs> Too hot. Too hot. It's just all these matches got us all very excited. It's hot out there in the middle. Nakaya Ricky. And Ungolari in the blue. He dodged that bullet earlier on, didn't he? Oh, he did. With the Iranian when he got thrown for Wazari. That was a real wake-up call for him. We're now in the semi-final, the men's 73s. Top half of the draw. Ungolari now s comes out. Could be an interesting... Real aggressive start, isn't it, in this match? Could be an interesting final if Ungvari were to beat Nakaya and Shavdato Ashvili were to beat Ganbata, we'd have a, re a replay of London, wouldn't we? London 2012. Would, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, that would bring back some horrible memories for someone. <laughs> well, Ungvari might want to get some revenge. I think that's what the French call it. <laughs> revenge. <laughs> Lungavari there trying to get that elbow out. We know he's very clever and knowledgeable down in the Niwaza. And that lovely turnover that he's got. And he pulls oh, him over. Oh, almost. Just lost it at the end. It's an ugly looking um, finish, but it's a beautiful turn. It really it's is nice. Nice turn. work. It is a lovely turn. He ends up in a really horrible looking position, but it's very effective because he traps that. Well, as you can see, that he's knee. got that arm again. Mm, and here, he we rolls, here we he go. Here we go. Now you, you call Mate now. But there's in that Niwaza. Ungavari takes off that grip, dismisses it so quickly as it went on. Nakaya a little bit frustrated there, he's not really getting that lapel that he's looking for. Ungavari holding the sleeve and working off the sleeve grips. Moving around nicely. Now working again. His magic in that knee was over we've seen earlier on, and he is very clever down there. He's got a lovely turnover. He hooks under that arm, across the chest of his opponent, and he now looks for that Sangaku. Once more, he digs in again. He's not letting him up at all. So one minute, 43 seconds left in this contest. It's been very interesting up until now and a very close match. But Ungovari, I feel, has just had the little edge on this, especially in the Niwaza. Ungovari ta tactically just keeping those sleeves, working away, just busy enough not to pick up any more Shidos. He's already got the one, but... Um, Always happy to go down into the ground. Looking on from the sidelines is Lasha Shavdatuashvili. On the one hand, he may have his old opponent, Hungvari. On the other hand, he may have the um, double world champion. World champion is, which <laughs> is <laughs> best of both. Is take, <laughs> take your pick. Take your pick which one you'd like. Oh, that looked a bit of a, a hard attack to the leg and uh, Nakaya went down he's got himself in a, again another tricky situation with Ungavari working again on that arm his, his arm still, yes, he's still rubbing that it, shin yeah. he did go down quite heavy on what, that what? shin yeah, it was a real whack what, to why, is it, why, why has the referee had a word with the coach in the chair Right now is a good time for the coach to be chatting. I'd, I'd have stood up and say, oh, you know, you can tell me during the contest, but right now I'm going to tell my fighter what I want to say. <laughs> <laughs> the, probably one th the one thing you always learn is you never hack off a referee. <laughs> you always stay on the side of the referees. Half a minute left to go in normal time remember a positive score is needed yes. to finish things and this time the Hungarian so is being asked to leave yeah. the walk of shame 
You are you are the weakest link. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Well, a drop Sienaghi there for Nakaya, but just lost all upper body control. Again, finds himself in that Niwaza situation. And mm. Ashido's been awarded to him, so that's 2-1 now. Gavari with the two, and he's got to be very careful that he doesn't pick up another one. Tactically, he's played a good game with holding on to the sleeves, frustrating Nakaya, who has just that little opportunity, winder opportunity there, but has failed to capitalise on it. Is he busy, busy, looking for every opportunity to go to the ground? And given up because he would have seen the clock running out. The yeah. clock wasn't running out, so he could he could continue in normal time to attack using his favourite waza. Well, you've got two athletes got such different strengths. One is superb in ni, ni waza, yeah. Ungovari, and you've got Nakaya that can throw at any angle. And but Ooh. Ungovari, <laughs> well, he can have. Yep, I thought so. Yep. So that evens it up one didn't more now. Didn't move him. Didn't like the grip. Pressure on the edge. Didn't move him. False attack. Again, oh, he's, he's working those sleeves. He's working off that. As you can see, he's got his opponent's right sleeve. He's controlling that very nicely. He's avoiding the other hand that coming over, but there's the drop. Lovely drop, Sienaghi, and he perseveres with it. But again, he gets himself in a difficult situation in the Niwaza. And Ungovari has threatened that Niwaza so many times, it's got to come off something in that man's ear. He couldn't have given Ungovari a, um, a penalty oh, for passivity. No. He's been the aggressor on the ground on every occasion. Yes. All right, he's gone behind one attack. But one, one is not enough. Mm. Oh, that's Ooh, a, I tell you what. That's a close. Oh, but there's the Niwaza. Oh. But the Niwaza was there as well. Oh, but Ungavari's looking as well and shaking his head. Let's have a look. Drop. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All is. right. Yeah. No. Yeah. Pr no problem with that. Down on his side. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Just didn't see that. Yeah. It all happened happen very yeah. quickly. There he goes. Over goes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna hide from the fact that, g given the, the the balance of the contest and everything, I was quite looking at Umvari there. Yes. You know, he was putting the pressure on. Exactly. 